Hello, this is Mrs. B, and I'm here today to make this short video discussing the five eyes of microbiology. These are methods used to locate, grow, observe, and characterize microorganisms. We are talking about growth environments for different microbes, and this lab is going to be an introduction to the different types of media that are going to be used to cultivate, isolate, and then ultimately identify different microbes. So when we're talking about the five eyes, the very first thing that has to occur is there has to be some sort of sample, so sample collection. And so medically, this is gonna be done aseptically, of course, and so it could be swabs, and it could be swabs of, you know, pretty much anything, throat swabs, skin swabs. It could be, we could take saliva, we could take blood, urine, sputum, whatever it is, first we're gonna to have to collect the sample. The first eye in the process then, now that we have a sample, we wanna inoculate it. And so the sample is going to have to be placed into sterile media that is going to support the growth of the organism that we're trying to isolate. So it's going to have to have the appropriate nutrients. And so streak plate, so it could be solid media, so an agar plate, it could be liquid media, it could be something called a blood bottle. And then typically to grow viruses, they're going to be injected into a bird embryo, so into an egg. Once we have inoculated our growth medium, then the next step is going to be incubation. And usually this is just going to be done in an incubator. And if you've done the lesson already, then you know that we can set different temperatures in these incubators. We can also uh, set a percentage of carbon dioxide to be in this incubator. But what we want is the proper growth conditions and environment for the sample that we're trying to cultivate. The third eye is going to be isolation. And so the end result of both the inoculation and the incubation is that we want to isolate the particular microbe we're looking for. Whenever these samples are collected, there's going to be a mixed community of microbes, but we're really interested in which one is causing the disease. And so the first plate I showed you on the introductory slide, that's what's called the streak plate method. So you can streak out the sample onto solid agar media and the idea is that you're going to spread it out so thin that there'll be one bacterium by itself that's going to grow and form a colony. What you're going to learn about in the next video that you're going to watch is there's also media that are selective in that they are going to have things in that media that are going to inhibit the growth of one organism and promote the growth of another. Once we have inoculated We've incubated, we've isolated. The next eye is going to be inspection. So we're going to look and see basically what we've done. And so we're going to look for different growth characteristics. For example, Staphylococcus aureus always forms these yellow golden colonies. Um, Klebsiella pneumoniae always forms these white shiny colonies because they have a capsule. And so there can be something about just the appearance of it. Also using different medias, sometimes there's a color change. And so that's more of a biochemical reaction. But first we're going to look at it. So inspection. The last step is going to be identification. And so this is going to determine what type of microbe it is, usually to the level of a species. You've already learned about microscopy. We've talked about differential staining. So that gram stain is really that first step in trying to classify bacterium. We also talked about the acid fast stain. That could identify mycobacterium. What we're going to move into in following labs and then even the labs in the next unit uh, we're going to talk about biochemical tests. The video you're going to watch next is going to talk about differential media. So there's going to be a color change based on the capabilities of a microorganism to alter a certain ingredient in that media. In unit two, we're going to look at immunological methods for identification and genotypic methods for identification. So looking at the DNA of the organism. So those are the five eyes of microbiology. Once again, we're going to inoculate. We're going to incubate, we're going to isolate, we're going to inspect, and then we're going to identify. And of course, the whole thing is we want to isolate things in pure culture so we can work with them, or we're going to isolate them in pure culture so we can identify them and give a diagnosis to our patient, and then, of course, set up treatment. Have a great day.